Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is the nitty gritty details that come along with doing taxes from your investments. And we're primarily gonna be focusing on doing taxes using the Robinhood investing platform and luckily it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's not too hard to follow along with. So I'm gonna break it all down in this video here today and let's jump right in. All right, guys, listen, if you're brand new to this channel, you've never been here before. Well, my name is Dalton. This is DLITS TV. On this channel, we talk about all things investing. And one of the things that slipped my mind when I first started investing a number of years ago was, I need to file my taxes. I didn't really even think about it. I didn't know how to do it, how to go about it. And I just kind of pieced it together by myself. And you got to know it's really not too complicated. Now, if you're just investing for the first time, you really weren't sure of if you should file or shouldn't file. Well, if you bought, sold stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, uh, maybe some options, if you had an employee compensation plan that was through stocks and you sold those, well, you need to report all of that stuff on your taxes. And it gets like, it seems like it's it's going to be complicated in this really hard process that a lot of people are going to dread but trust me it is really simple nowadays and not hard to do especially if you use an automated tax software like TurboTax which is what I used to do now this year is a little bit different for me because I have a lot of different things that I need to report in terms of you know I work a nine to five job I've got this YouTube side hustle going on so a lot of business things over here in this realm which I'm a little bit less comfortable with so I do have a CPA that is helping me file this year year and uh, it doesn't really change the fact that you know filing using Robinhood I still need to give the, my tax information over there so I'm going to show you how to get it and how to get all the information that you need so what I'm going to do first off is jump into the Robinhood app and this is where your tax information actually resides so if you're in the Robinhood app you can see this is the home screen and boy oh boy I love to see green over the past week it is uh, turned around because over the past month it's not looking great so hopefully it's going to continue but that's not what this video here is about today so what I'm going to do you tap on the little profile icon in the bottom right hand side. It's going to take you into uh, this setting right here. And then from here, if you're looking for your tax document, uh, all you go into is statements and history and then scroll to the bottom and you can see you have the tax documents field. So then what you do is you click into that and uh, basically it gives you a breakdown of all the years that you have uh, different uh, tax documents in here. Now, again, I'm gonna jump into 2020. And then on here, it shows basically everything that your accountant will need to know or anything that you might need to know in terms of the software that you're filing. It'll go over uh, the dividend payments you received, that you're buying, you're selling, the history, everything you need, and it's pretty straightforward. Now, if you wanna get this file off of the Robinhood app and something that I'm gonna need to do is you hit the icon in the top right, and then there's a number of different ways that you can share it. So you can uh, save it to your files. You can save it to Dropbox, whatever you want to do. What I'm going to do is email this to myself. So I'm going to go ahead and click Gmail and then I'm going to go ahead and copies it as a PDF. I'll just send it to myself. And just like that, it's super simple. I already got it on my email there. You can see it just came through. If I were to click onto this, I can go into it. The PDF is right here and now I have access to it. Now, basically all I need to do in this circumstance is then take that PDF, send it over to my CPA, and then he'll work his magic and make sure that it gets reported correctly. Now, not everybody has the pleasure of doing their taxes through a CPA. So one thing that you want to be aware of is that you're, you're probably already using an automated tax software. And personally, my favorite and not sponsored in any way is TurboTax. And if you use TurboTax, what's great is that they actually link right up with the Robinhood platform. And you really, it takes the thinking out of doing your taxes. It really just automates it and you don't even need to think twice about it. So let me jump into the TurboTax application. All right, so what's great about the TurboTax platform is that it will link directly up with your Robinhood account, as I'd mentioned before. And the other thing is it really does a great job of hand holding you through the tax reporting process. So when you just open up an account on TurboTax, you're gonna fill out your information. I didn't really show that. And then it's gonna ask you a number of questions. And one of those questions is specifically going to be, did you buy or sell stocks during the past year? And you're gonna answer yes. And then it actually will give you the opportunity to link directly directly to the Robinhood account. So if I go into my tax, I'll show you exactly where that would come from. If I go into the details here, if I go to wages and income, review and edit, I can go to the bottom and click on review for the stocks, mutual funds, bonds, and others. Now that I click review here, 
Uh, basically, it just says, let us know if you sold any of these types of investments, stocks, mutual, index, exchange traded funds, bonds, options, the things that I mentioned before in this video. Um, and then it's gonna cover all of the different forms automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, because I did that. Now it's gonna ask uh, if you did land, homes, personal items versus stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Now obviously you go with stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, click continue here. And this is going to take you to uh, another section where you can log right into Robinhood. So if you go continue one more time, you can search by sign in name or URL. You can see Robinhood's already populated right there, but let's say it wasn't showing up for you for whatever reason. You can just look up Robinhood and click on that. Now, after you click on the Robinhood securities, what you're gonna get is it's going to ask you for your account number as well as the 11 digit document ID. Both of these can be found on the previous tax document that I mentioned that you pulled directly from Robinhood. So if you get it and you you go to the very top, you're gonna to see all of the information. I'm gonna plug it in real quick. Then you click get my form. You're gonna go into I'm not a robot, fill out this generic stuff here. Click on continue and just like that, Mine is connecting, you can see it on the screen, and it pulled all of this information right here. And just like that, guys, you're pretty much done. You've already instituted the Robinhood taxes that you need to pay. You put it right into TurboTax, which is then gonna be reported when you actually file, and uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. So if you have any questions along the way, guys, maybe you're getting tripped up somewhere, make sure you leave in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. And uh, always, guys, I appreciate you checking out this video. Hit that like button if you made it this far. Uh, I would really appreciate the support. See ya.